Hi folks, it's been a little while again, as you well know, it's been very cold out here, I've had many other things to do, plus we've been away, and uh, I thought I'd bring this one to you. I've got the old uh, engine here from the Reliant Regal, this is the one that actually come out of the vehicle when I bought it, this was running, this was an MOT vehicle at the time, this was about seven years ago now, and as you probably know, I've got another engine that come along with it, which was a 750cc engine, which I'm in the process of rebuilding, but I thought to myself, Let's dig this one out because I know this is a known good engine, but this was a very smoky engine. And also this has got all the ancillaries with it. For me to fit the new engine means I've got to buy a new distributor, I've got to buy a new alternator or a dynamo. I've got to adapt the gearbox because it comes with a different type of gearbox which has got a different clutch throw on it. And that means alterations to the bell housing. Whereas this thing is basically ready to go. So I'm thinking what I may do is because this is the original engine in it, which is a 600cc that come in this model, I'm thinking of refitting this, but obviously I've got to investigate why it was smoking. I've got a feeling it could be valve guides, via valve oil seal guides, but I just want to have a look in the bores. And today I've got this uh, Depstec DS520 industrial endoscope which has got its own built-in screen. So let's get this out, let's have a look inside the engine. We take the spark plugs out and let's see what condition the bores are in before I make a decision on what to do with it. Right, so this is the uh, Depstec DS520 Professional Industrial Endoscope, as you can see with a built-in screen there. I have got one which I use on my phone, my mobile phone, with an app. But to be honest with you, it's a bit of an inconvenience because the screen keeps going into close down mode whenever I'm using it or if people phone you up that sort of affects it as well so this industrial one has its own built in screen which we're going to see in a minute I've not even opened this yet so you're seeing this the first time with me folks it comes in a little box here we go we have got a set of instructions in there right so this is the unit I don't even know if it's charged up folks so let's have a little look Please ensure that the USB cable is fully plugged into the host, otherwise it will, there will be no signal and the light will not come on. Okay, fair enough. There we go. So we just take that off, that's it. Nice little handheld unit there. Now it's got the grip on the handle like that, look. Looks like it's an easy navigatable menu. And you get different ends for the thing. You can see you've got a couple of different ends there which slide over Top, which we'll look at yeah there's a magnet so you can retrieve stuff look and there's a little hook one where you can uh, hook something out for example and under here under that velcro tray there's your um, actual cable with the light on the end of it so that end obviously plugs into the unit in the USB port up there and that's the bit it's telling you just to ensure to put in properly that can only go in one way folks it's got a little groove on it there on the top there which goes into a little groove in there so just ensure that pushes in correctly which is like that otherwise you'll lose signal right so i've just taken the lead back out so we can have a little look around the unit you've got a button there which has got a picture of a camera on and a video recorder so if you single press that one that will take a picture and if you toggle it the other way and hold that button down for two seconds it will start recording a video so that's all able to do that because if you look underneath here you've actually got i think it's a 32 gigabyte is it yeah i think you've got a 32 gigabyte card already installed in there folks so maybe if i just push that card down in the center it pops up yeah there we go yeah it comes with a little 32 gigabyte memory card already in it i'm just pushing that in with this little probe that they give you here folks Right, so that's back in there, yeah. So the on off button is here, which you just press and power it up with. As you can see, it's just come on now. Now we haven't got the camera connected at the moment, so it says no signal there. So underneath there as well, you've got a type C USB C charging port there. And that button there, you can probably see a little hole there, just about there. That's where you use this little tool, and that's if it does lock up or anything, you press that and that's your reset as well. So when you do plug, plug your USB charging cord in there, you've got a little indicator light next to it as well, which will come on to show that you're charging. You, when you push that in, make sure you get that little click, folks. I never had it fully clicked in. So let me take that out again and show you. So I had it in only to there, and I had that little gap there, which wasn't operating the LED camera. So when I push that in, you watch, little click, there we go, and the LED light comes on. 
and you can order the LED brightness on the screen there with a little LED indicator for brightness or to dim it right down there as you can see there look at that look. like that so you have also got a settings menu on there which can go in there it's 1080p resolution at the moment which we got there we got the auto power to off you can do different things there change the language selections you can scroll through the menu screen brightness of the screen you can reformat the uh the system but we'll go up and we won't do that then you press the settings button again and come out of the settings menu so that's that so anyway let's get a spark plug out let's get in there with this and see how this really works right so this engine hasn't been touched literally for about six to seven years so i don't know what we're going to find in here all i know is the last time it run it was very very smoky and i haven't touched it i just took it out put it in the back of the garage and that was it So let's have a little look here. Right. Okay, well that's uh, a little bit sooty, but it looks okay. It just looks like it's been running a bit rich, to be honest with you. So, yeah, we'll leave that one out. That's the first one. Sorry, that's the fourth one, actually. The first one is at the front of the engine. So let's take this one out. And this engine is a positive earth system it runs off so i've got my battery on charge at the moment but i don't think we're going to get around to doing that in this video because i will possibly try to start this engine up before i decide to take the head off but i so say that'll be in the next video i think because i want to get this thing going now you see so um it'll be a lot easier for me to get this one going as opposed to the other one yet again not oily as such but black and they look like pretty new plugs to be honest with you the person who had this car before me obviously did look after it so that's number two now can i get this in there with that distributor in the way there's another thing possibly not right well we'll look in the first two first anyway so so that you can look with me that's the beauty of having this you see so let's turn it back on by holding the power on button there we go that's all right isn't it so let's stick this in there and have a little look in there folks through the plug hole there we go oh look at that look well this is clear as anything isn't it that's as clear as anything folks wow let's go over the other side bit of oil on the top of the piston which probably could denote that the uh, valve guys are gone there doesn't seem to be excessive oil around that bore there let's have a look in the second one that one piston might be further down which it is there we go look at that look how clear is that folks and that is a 1080 camera on this so that's marvelous there's a bit of scoring down that bore barrel isn't there look at that look could be that that could be the reason it might need a rebore Yeah, see the scoring, folks, look. Loads of scoring down there, so uh, there we go. That's very clear, though, that screen, isn't it? Look at that, look. Yeah, I'm well pleased with that camera. Superb. Right, let's take that out. All right, just come around to the um, other side of the engine now, folks. I want to um, just have a little look at that exhaust port, just to see if that is oily. And if there's any sort of unknown crap up there. Well, it's sooty, but it doesn't appear to be oily. But this really is a good tool. And the picture quality of this compared to what I had before is uh, superb. So I'm well happy with that. And just have a little look inside the waterways here as well. Let's put that in there. You can see the uh, inside of the thermostat housing there, I think, folks. You can see the inside walls of the water pipes there. Look at that. You see that? How crusty they are, look. That's why you should always replace your water pipes on old vehicles like this, folks. Look at that, look. Wow, it's amazing. Let's have a look in the air intake, see if there's any mice in there. Well, I can see it's got a wire filter in there, folks. Look, a wire mesh filter without even taking it out. Can you see that wire filter in there, look? Wire mesh. There we go. Yeah, it's good. Well, you've got to be impressed with that, folks. I certainly am. But as you can see, this engine comes complete again with the 
starter motor there which seems to be free the uh, fuel pump there the uh, distributor the obviously the carburetor in the inlet manifold and that's the choke there look so um there's a good chance that that carb is going to be gummed up as well and this 600 cc engine has only got the uh the two blade system on there look just the dual, the dual blade but as you can see the engine is actually turning over on the bottom pulley there look the crankshaft turning over so it's nowhere as it sees this engine and in fact now i've got that down i might be able to look down that bar as well now so let's just fire this up again and now we've got the bore down on that one now it's going down look do you see the piston going down there we go look at that look right that's right at the bottom of the stroke now so let's have a good look down there there you go can you see that that's the piston at the bottom of the stroke there look but as you can see there's quite a few score lines in that look yeah quite a few score lines so there's a very good chance that could be half of the reason why it's smoking there we go let's have a look at that one now that should be right up now i think yeah let's turn that around so that one's right down now let's send that piston right down look hold on there we go it's going down now look you see that going down right to the bottom right let's have a closer look at that one again yeah look at that look can you see it on that piston crown I don't know if you can see that that side is clean but that side is oily over this side look you see that yeah so I think it will warrant stripping down yeah look at that look how clear is that folks without even taking the cylinder off look you can inspect the inside of the engine so it looks like it will be beneficial for me to probably get this engine going and getting this back together as I say because the gearbox is all there I will put a new clutch in it uh, the all the ancillary parts are on this engine it just wants taking apart cleaning up and then putting back together I'm not too sure yet whether we can get away with a hone in them bores I'm not too sure yet but the cylinder head can come off and the uh, oil seal the valve stem oil seals can be replaced on that so we might start stripping that down in the next video but highly impressed with um, this depth stick ds520 professional industrial industrial endoscope folks so i'll leave a link in the description below in the video if you are interested in this it has got a five inch uh, screen on it it's full hd it's waterproof to ip67 and it's got a high performance lithium iron battery in it as well as i say it did come fully charged when i bought it straight out of the box i was able to use it straight away that's the thing make sure you push that home and you hear that click then your little light would start operating and it's simple to use controls there you've got a menu there as i said to you you've got a camera where you can take a picture and it stores it on the little uh, sd card there or you can actually put a little bit of video on it as well and then don't forget you can plug that into your computer and download that or take the, the little card out download it onto your computer and then you can send it wherever you want yeah i'm well pleased with that and uh, as i say this is coming up very quickly now i say i want to get this going there's other things which i've got outstanding but um what i might do before we start stripping this down as i said in the next video we might wire it up i might have to take the carb off and clean it and uh, we'll see if we can start the engine on the bench anyway thanks very much only a quick blast one for this one we'll see you in the next video and until then bye for now